Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next Star Wars Galaxies emulator video. This is part three of the Hero of Tatooine. Uh, today we are doing... Which one is it? The Mark of Courage. Um, Mark of Courage is also is a fairly simple one. All you have to do is find an NPC, or in this case a creature, uh, that is called a Wild Bladeback Boar. As you can see on the right, again, I have a huge list of waypoints already set in. However, what these are, and I've pulled this uh, right off of the Galaxy's uh, emulator forum page. As there's like a written guide for the Hero of Tatooine quest. I punched all these waypoint co coordinates in, and it is, just as I remembered uh, from live, a huge patch of... Uh, not necessarily spawn locations, but where the boar was sighted, which is just west of the Moss, the old Moss Espa pod racing track. So in case you never know, uh, there's a point of interest, which is the old Moss Espa arena track up in the north side of Tatooine, and to the west of there is basically where the boar spawns. The thing is, I'm, I'm fairly certain the boar wanders, so... As you can tell from this group, uh, this cluster of waypoints, the boar probably spawns somewhere in this area and will wander around. Now, I'm sure it's, it's like, you know, a localized spawn can spawn anywhere within that area, but at least we know that that's where it's supposed to spawn. So, I don't know how long it's going to take me to find it. I'm going to start a timer. I'm going to go up there and drive around and see how uh, lucky I can get. But, um... Yeah, you guys definitely do not have to watch all of it. Alright, I did just want to point out as I'm driving around up here, there is a group of Tuscan Warriors and Tuscan Death Hunters up here. I don't know how strong those are, and I'm not really looking to engage them right now. Um, but just be warned that there are some fairly challenging NPCs that can spawn up here while you're driving around, so... Uh, bring buffs, bring armor, don't be a, you know, fresh tune driving around up here because uh, there are things that could kill you, potentially. You even have some cannibals living up here, which is not something I don't think I've ever seen in the game before. That's interesting. Day three. Okay, so here we are two days later. Uh, when I initially, when I started this video, you guys were just watching, I began searching for the boar, I searched for maybe 20 minutes, and then the server shut down. So, that kind of hindered my progress a little bit. Then, yesterday, I did a little bit more searching, I searched for maybe an hour, and had no luck. And then here I am again today, I searched again for about... I will say two hours total. I didn't search for two hours straight. I searched for like 45 minutes, took a break for a couple hours, played something else, came back, searched for like another 45 minutes, took a break, went and played something else, came back. And here I am after searching for about 15 minutes for the third time today, I found him. The Wild Blade Back Boar. My location is right up here, right in that same... I, I deleted those w old waypoints, but right in the same cluster of waypoints that I had on the map earlier. And I did actually bring my Master Ranger alt uh, out here to find out if the board does in fact show up in an, an animal track for a ranger, and he does. So if you have a ranger alt with the area track ability... You can, in fact, use that to find the boar. Um, it's just track it as if you would track a regular creature, animal, because you can, uh, ranger can track animals, people, or players. You track animal, it pops right up, wild, blade back boar, if you're within range, of course. Um, from what I've read, this thing has a one-hour respawn timer. However, it does... According to what I've read, it does spawn multiple times per spawn. Like, 
just like the Black Sun on Yavin. So we're gonna we'll kill this guy here and see exactly if that's true. All right, so you kill it. The as the creature falls, you notice an object glittering on its corpse. So we're gonna loot all, and you loot the Mark of Courage, and you get the badge quest Mark of Courage. That's it. Here's the Mark of Courage. That's the second part of our little sculpture. Now I'm going to uh, bring my alt over real quick because I do not believe that multiple people can loot it. I should have been in a group. No, I don't have permission to loot. I'm sure even if I join the group, it's too late anyway. No, I still don't have permission because I wasn't in the group to begin with. But I, I don't think it matters. I think even if you're in a group, see, he's not going to despawn until I harvest him. Uh, Alright, so let's see. Let us have a second. We're going to wait and see if he respawns in the same place. Uh, and while we're waiting, I do want to make an observation that I noticed earlier. Uh, for whatever reason, I'll put the I'll put the coordinates to where I found this guy in the video description. Um, it's about negative 850, positive 4550. And what was interesting is there there was a one of the waypoints that I used in that cluster of waypoints earlier in the video was pretty much right here in this exact spot it was a couple couple meters off but it was it was pretty darn close um along with another one that was kind of out in that area down just over there a little bit and i noticed that at this waypoint here there was a malignant squill just kind of chilling by itself it was the target's name was a malignant squill it was a red red con aggressive mob and it was kind of like loitering around that end, that waypoint, and he was there for like two days. And then, because he was there since I started, and he was there yesterday, and he was there again today. And it was just really weird that that same mob was just sticking around that one waypoint. And then down in that valley over there, there was another waypoint with a cannibal dewback. Just one cannibal dewback just hanging out by the waypoint, not doing anything. So earlier today, I decided to kill those two mobs just because it, they were acting suspicious. I don't, I don't know how a dewback acts suspicious, but he was. And the squill was just giving me weird looks, so I killed him. And lo and behold, later today I come back and that boar was right here. So I, I don't know if those things are connected. Um, but that is what I did, and that is what led me to finding the boar. So, it could have just been dumb luck that that happened, or the, you know, game designer, programmer brain of mine has been clicking, and I, I don't know if maybe the boar wasn't spawning because all of the, the spawn locations were tied up by these other random spawns. So, the fact that I cleared those spawns allowed the boar to spawn. I don't know if that's how the game works. You guys are more than welcome to comment in the vi on the video uh, down below and let me know how completely crazy I am for for thinking that that's how it worked. Um, uh, like I said, I don't I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. It's just what I did and it worked. So it could have been dumb luck or it could be onto something there. Anyway, I'm gonna I'll cut this video here so you guys don't have to wait forever. And uh, we'll find out if this guy respawns or not. Alright, it does not appear that this guy is going to be respawning anytime soon. Um, I've been sitting here for about 15 minutes, which is way longer than it takes the Black Sun to respawn once you kill a wave of them. Uh, so it looks like if this guy is on a respawn timer, and like the articles that I've read to help me find the boar are true, um, and it is a one hour timer, it's possible he'll respawn in the same spot. I don't believe that's how it works, but um, I do want to give a quick shout out to uh, a character named Scratcher, who 
sent me a waypoint in game to where he found the boar which happens to be only about 100 200 meters away from where i found the boar so again i put the coordinates in the video or in the description below it's negative 850 positive 4550 roughly around there is where you guys should find him should again i don't think this is an exact science but uh having a ranger certainly helps but yeah that's it for the mark of courage stick around for i'm not sure which one i'm gonna do next to be honest with you we have honor and we have altruism we'll probably do honor next um but yes hope this guide has been entertaining and helpful so far thank you guys again for watching mobius one here and i'll see you next time